him, but I want to introduce Wilder. Where are you, Wilder? Right here. There's the shop owner. He can tell you a little bit about the shop. So, my name's Wilder. My wife, Alex, is over there. The two of us own this shop. We started it uh, about almost exactly two years ago. So what we did is we created a shop that you can come and use and, and work on your own motorcycle. Um, we, uh, we do several different things. The, I guess the main thing we do is we rent out these lifts. So we have six lifts around the shop um, that you can come in and use. Um, you can reserve them online or just drop in and use them. No memberships, you can come in anytime, use it for an hour, use it for a whole day. And uh, we also offer a storage plan, so those bikes back there <laughs> are the ones that you know, didn't get finished or yeah. were planned projects. Most of them are projects. Oh, yeah. So they all have a month pass and they come in and work when they can on their bikes. And so that's one thing we do. The other thing is we teach workshops, similar to this. We have workshops every week. Um, everything from um, basic introduction to adjusting your levers, cleaning your chain, through valve adjustments, um, cool. engine rebuild. They're, every weekend we have them. Every mostly weekend. both Saturday and Sunday we have one. And, um, and the other thing we do is we schedule appointments with mechanics. If you can't make one of our classes but you want to learn how to do something, you can, you can email us or call us and we'll, we'll make an arrangement for you to meet a mechanic and work one-on-one -on -one with them. In addition, we have, we have oil filters here. Um, so you, if you wanted to do an oil change, we have everything in stock for you. Um, we stock some brake pads, we stock some chains. Um, one of our popular classes, that's our tire changer right there in the middle of the room. Um, so we, we change the tires, mount and balance them right there. Uh, we have a workshop for that every other week. I'm Russ Penson, and I'm part of, owner in a Porsche shop in Campbell. German vehicles all have pretty much the same mechanics. So bleeding the brakes on a Porsche or a BMW or a BMW bike is all the same. It's easy. A lot of people want to make it really hard, get special tools and all kinds of things like that, and you really don't need it. So the first thing that I'm going to say is probably going to upset somebody. When you change your brake pads, go ahead and flush the system. There's two terms, flush, which is get everything out of there and bleed, which people think they have to do because they got air in the line. As far as how often should I flush my system? Flush your system when you replace your pads. Just do it when you do your brake pads. Otherwise, don't touch Well, it. about two years ago, we started the business, but about two years prior to that, um, we just uh, have a motorcycle riding group that we've had for five years and out of that um, stemmed this notion that people needed a place to work on their motorcycles. They were asking us a lot of these questions like where can I change my oil, who can teach me how and so we tested it out with a couple of garage days just in our own garage and a friend's garage and then you know Wilder said what if we actually opened up a shop that was like this and so then that led us to start just doing some research and number crunching and then finally we um, realized that we could do this we could make it a viable business and so did all the process went through the city got the licenses filed the company and opened and that was two years ago